Hi everyone, Chris from Stone Age Gamer here, and welcome back to Stone Age Gaming, a show where I get to talk about weird stuff I find in my closet. This one, however, I did not find in my closet because this is brand spanking new. Say hello to the new Super Mario Little Golden Book. It's a storybook about Mario for children. So, you're probably asking the same question that I asked as soon as it showed up in the mail. How exactly does this stack up to the 1989 masterpiece, the original Super Mario Brothers Little Golden Book, Trapped in the Perilous Pit? Let's take a look. Alright everybody, here we are. We've got our two different books side by side. We're going to compare them directly because this is the content that you deserve. So let's first take a look at the new one. Uh, we'll, we'll do a little side by side cover look here. Alright, so we've got this new cover. It's, uh, it's fancy. It's, uh, well, it's actually not that fancy. It's, uh, <laughs> it's pretty straight uh, straightforward. It's very nice. I like the big bold colors and I like that it's not the CG Mario. It's uh, Ever since I think Mario 3D World, they've really been focusing on uh, using the, the more hand-drawn art. I mean, obviously this isn't completely hand-drawn. It's very sterile, it's very clean, uh, very computer cleaned up and, and whatnot, but it is still you know 2D drawn stuff. But then you get this guy. Look at this monstrosity. I mean, this was... This comes from a time when they hadn't really nailed down exactly how, what the rules were in the world of Mario. So he's still rocking the red overalls and the blue shirt, and he's doing the green. Uh, they're shooting something, <laughs> some sort of beam of light out of the Fire Flower, because uh, they kind of still work like, the, I guess they do in Smash Brothers, right? You hold the Fire Flower and it shoots the fire instead of giving you the ability to throw fireballs. Uh, and then you got the princess, uh, who's line of sight is kind of confusing. Uh, she doesn't appear to be looking at what they're looking at. She's looking like over here. Uh, so that's, that's, that's kind of cool. Uh, then we, if we flip them over here, they are, just to, to point out, they are in fact little golden books. I know this doesn't have the gold foil on the side, but it is a golden look, uh, what is it? A golden look look book. I guess it's kind of a different brand for them, but hey, whatever, man. They're they're both little golden books. So the back uh, is extraordinarily boring. You can tell I got this uh, somewhere for five bucks at some point, uh, but it's just blue. And this one's got all these other uh, little ones on here. You know, your classics, your Scuffy the Tugboat, uh, some Pokemon uh, guys in here mixed in with all these other like super old, super gold little golden books. So you know, uh, it's a uh, it is the pretty standard issue stuff, but then we get to the inside of the book, all right? So let's see. Uh, this one here actually tells a story. It's a completely bonkers story, uh, and it seems to pull from both the Super Mario Brothers Super Show and the original instruction manuals and stuff. Uh, so you'll see some, some artwork in here that you've probably seen in instruction manuals and stuff. Like, this is a pretty straight rendition of a Princess Peach that I've seen. You know, I've seen this drawing before, just not quite like this, almost like it was weirdly traced. Um, but you can see here it does dive into the story of them being plumbers from Brooklyn and they wind up in the Mushroom Kingdom. This, on the other hand, is kind of like a, a character breakdown book. Uh, I love this artwork though, I mean really, these are, these are such good pictures in this book. So this is a, you know, welcome to the Mushroom Kingdom, here's Princess Peach and who she is and Bowser and who he is and Mario and who he is and so this this kind of breaks down what all the characters are it doesn't actually send anybody on an adventure however like I said the artwork is great look how like gorgeous these colors are it's very bright it's very accessible uh, and it's just really pretty looking I, I like how bold everything is it's very well designed you know you've got the kind of like Kirby dots to give it that sort of uh, storybook look and introduces Luigi that he's not quite as brave as Mario and he's scared of ghosts uh, it goes into a, a two-page thing on Yoshi which is kind of you know all right let's, let's let's jump into the Yoshi thing including his a uh, he can flutter his legs they detail the flutter jump in here that's kind of a weird thing um, and then you got I love the Bowser art in here <laughs> there's some great pictures of Bowser obviously we've got the toads that come in different colors because you, know, you can't really have toads with different personalities anymore uh, unless you're Captain Toad or Toadette who's not in here uh, then you, you know, break down a couple of the villains your spinies your buzzy beetles and I've always called this guy Lakitu but uh, I've recently heard a lot of people referring to it as Lakitu um, it's gonna take me a lot, if that's actually the true way to pronounce it, it's gonna take a long time for me to break out of calling him Lakitu. I don't know, what do you call him? 
Uh, then you got the Koopalings. I've always loved the Koopalings, and I was so sad when they, they disappeared in favor of this jerk. I hate Bowser Jr. I think he's awful. Uh, I hate his stupid bandana with teeth drawn on it. I think Bowser Jr. stinks. Um, although he was pretty cool in Bowser's Fury, so I guess I'll give him that. But the Koopa Kits are so awesome, the Koopalings, even though they're not canonically Bowser's kids anymore, which is weird. So then who are they? <laughs> it doesn't matter. Uh, and you got some power-ups going on here. Obviously, you've seen we've seen this picture before. In fact, we'll see uh, something real similar to that in a minute here. I've, they've been using this picture since, like, the Mario 1 manual, I think. Or at least some version of it. Look at this picture of Bowser! Isn't that awesome? I love him. He's so cool. Uh, again, not telling the story. I've seen that picture of Luigi a ton. Toad riding Yoshi. I, I feel like I haven't seen that before. I've seen that Yoshi and that Toad, but never combined. And this is a really cool picture of Mario jumping in a pipe. I, I like it. And then it all just kind of wraps up and says that, you know, Mario is here to save the day and he and his friends can save the Mushroom Kingdom and everybody's happy. Isn't that glorious? The end. So that's, that's this one. That's the new one. Now let's take a look at this guy. Because this is nuts. <laughs> like I said, this kind of bolt pulls from the, uh, the Super Mario Brothers Super Show a little bit. And it also... It, it only a little bit. It's not quite the same, right? Mario isn't drawn exactly like he is in there, but the way Mario is drawn, the way everybody's drawn in this is so inconsistent. It's bananas. Like, all right, so this picture here of Luigi, this is probably pulled from the Mario 2 instruction manual where he's pulling something up from the ground. Like, I, I swear I've seen him in that position. Uh, and then we are going to take a look further. So, uh, they were, they're fixing pipes. Oh wait, I skipped the page. Mario and Luigi are fixing pipes underneath the, uh, Princess Peach's castle, or Princess Toadstool's castle, right? This was before she was known as Peach here in the U.S. And they've given Mario this bizarre, uh, personality trait where he really likes to eat gross things with mushrooms on him. Like, here, he's upset because, uh, uh, my head might may be hard, said Luigi, but at least my stomach's normal. I don't eat disgusting stuff like mushroom and jelly sandwiches. So, uh, ew. <laughs> but whatever. Uh, Mario's looking a little, uh, little funky there. Uh, but then Bowser shows up. The king of the Koopas shows up in, in the sewers. And, uh, I love this one. <laughs> just look at Mario chomping away at these mushrooms. Like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna eat these off the floor. But this is great, because they kind of address that in the book. Eating mushrooms is very, very dangerous, unless you know which ones are safe to eat. Luckily, Mario knew that these mushrooms were safe. Yeah, luckily. Uh, I hope this didn't encourage any children to go about eating random mushrooms they find on the ground. <laughs> Terrible idea. So Mario stuffs some in his pockets and becomes super large, and I mean, going back to this Bowser, we've seen this picture of Bowser a ton of times, uh, especially in the old, back when this was out, uh, like on the cover of the Mario, uh, not on the cover, but it was on the Super Mario Brothers uh, board game I covered a little while back, and uh, he was in the instruction manuals and stuff, I've seen this artwork before. But then you get this one, this was so obviously drawn for this book because that is so weirdly shaped and off-brand, that is just a funky looking Bowser right there, and that's, uh, that's kind of a weird looking Mario. And a terrible joke. Fee fi fo fat. You'd better run or I'll squash you flat. <laughs> so uh, Bowser's like, because he's totally a, magi a magician in this one. He's a, he's a wizard, right? Just like that. It's always kind of been Bowser's thing. He's a, s a dark sorcerer. Uh, and Luigi's looking on. He's got a fire flower, an adorable giant purple fire flower. Uh, and he comes out to try and use it on, uh, on Bowser, who's, again, kind of plump. <laughs> <laughs> they just kind of plumped him up here on the side, but check this out. Check out that picture of Luigi. That is totally redrawn art of... Let me get back to that page. Where were you? Look at that. That's totally the same drawing. Like, they've been pulling off that same shape, and they just kind of redrew it to be Luigi doing that. There's no question in my mind that's based off the same key art. Uh, so that's kind of cool. Uh, look at the Koopa Troopas. They're all like, <laughs> they're just, they're just turtles. Like they don't have any of the, the any of the, the, the modern attributes that they've changed. Uh, Luigi using a pipe wrench to get Mario out and then they get thrown into a, a pit and they've got to work together to get themselves out. Bowser captures the princess and the toads and then they wind up throwing the princess down into the pit. More funky looking Bowser uh, and uh, 
<laughs> Just look at this stuff. Isn't it great? Uh, they, they convince each other to work together where Mario turns big and then holds Luigi where he can use the fire flower to blast their way out. And they scare away the Koopas with the flood by messing with some pipes. And then they all have food together and Mario says, Be quiet, said Mario, and get me the pickles for the top of my Italian ice. Ah, uh, ugh. <laughs> pickles and Italian ice, that's gross. So there you have it. That is the direct comparison. The new versus the old. Fascinating. Well, which one is it? Do you like the original 1989 weirdo off-brand Super Mario book that's got Mario eating mushrooms off the floor of a sewer? Or do you like the new, far more tame, uh, a bit less creative, but very pretty Super Mario uh, Golden Book? that's available now, uh, wherever fine storybooks are sold. I honestly like them both. I think they've both got their, uh, their unique attributes, and uh, I'm glad I have them because, well, they're, they're just fascinating. And I truly and honestly hope that Nintendo makes more uh, storybooks to read to uh, children because I like reading uh, books about video games to my kids because, well, I mean, I'm kind of a dork. Anyway, uh, thank you very much for watching. If you liked what you saw here today, please comment, like, subscribe, and let me know, let us know, which Super Mario storybook you like better. Do you like the old one? Do you like the new one? Does it not matter? Because, uh, well, they're all weird and fun. I mean, no matter how you slice it, the Super Mario universe is pretty bizarre. Anyway, on behalf of myself and everyone here at Stone Age Gamer, keep playing games. Great gobs of purple pasta, thought Mario. King Koopa is up to no good. What can I do? All of a sudden, Mario looked down at his feet and saw the answer to his question. Magic red mushrooms. Eating mushrooms is very, very dangerous, unless you know which ones are safe to eat. Luckily, Mario knew that these mushrooms were safe. He knew that these...